talk about what comic relief is and what your what your personal take is on it. Okay, I've just got to get into character. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a typical red nose day, red nose, and uh, it's every two years. Um, mm -hmm. Comic Relief is an organization. Uh, it was set up uh, in 1985, 28 years ago, um, primarily by Richard Curtis, who is the guy behind Blackadder, um, Four Weddings and a Funeral, Notting Hill, huh. uh, Love Actually. Uh, so he's a comic writer, he's a director, and he just um, saw what was happening uh, in Africa, uh, with communities where kids were dying from malaria when things like m um, mosquito nets costing very little could help mm. or drugs that cost a few pennies a, 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 a treatment and yet people couldn't afford it. Um, what could we do to do that and to help that? And also back in England, um, there is still a lot of deprivation and poverty, uh, particularly amongst children. And so uh, they set up Comic Relief to do something about this and address both things in Britain and things in Africa. Mm. And he, he got the uh, comedy um, circuit, the people, the comedians and actors and actresses on board with him mm. uh, and started to do every other year a Red Nose Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, this thing has just grown and grown. Um, it's now got two strands to it because the alternate years now is sport relief, mm. which is a bit like comic relief, but with a slight sport um, emphasis to it. Yeah, it's like comic relief, but more sweat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, but they tend to be funny as well. Um, I mean, some people would say, well, it isn't actually that funny. Um, I happened to meet this guy about three years ago. Uh, you recognize him? I, 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 you know, I do, but I, the name it's, is... It's Eddie Izzard. Oh, of course, yeah. Comedian yeah, and actor. Tremendous comedian, yeah. Um, Eddie ran round the United Kingdom all mm. four nations, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, and Scotland. Um, he did about 32 marathons hmm. in about 40, 45 days. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, Wait, 32 start. marathons, that's 26 miles? Well, okay. some, some days he'd do 30 miles because the, the towns weren't evenly placed for marathons. <laughs> and no one would give him a ride? After oh, he 26 wasn't allowed, miles. Wasn't allowed. I mean, he was allowed a ride when he got to the finishing point. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I, I, was, I was driving back to Harrogate one afternoon from Ripon, which is 10 miles north of here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw this guy running along the road carrying a, a St. George flag. Hmm. And I thought, that's a bit weird. And as I drove past and looked at him, it was Eddie Izzard. Hmm. That's Eddie Izzard. So I pulled into a lay-by and uh, waited and his support vehicle pulled into the same lay-by hmm. to uh, his camera crew to film him as he ran past. So I got chatting to them, and I said, where's he finishing tonight? And they said, oh, Harrogate. And so I thought, oh, I live there. <laughs> hmm. So we asked what time he was arriving, and my daughter and I went and met him uh, when he arrived. Wow, that's great. And, uh, he raised over a million pounds um, doing that. Huh. For, co for, for comic relief or for sports relief? I think that was for sport relief, <clears throat> uh, but because it's got this strong link with the comic side, yeah. comedians do it. Um, another comedian last year um, cycled from Paris to um, Calais. Mm. He then rode a boat from Calais to Dover across the English Channel. Hmm. And then he ran the equivalent of three marathons the next three days to London. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you won't know him. His name's John Bishop. Hmm. Uh, he's a comedian from Liverpool. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, another guy last year um, cycled um, one of those uh, Asian, um, like, bicycle taxis. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Or, yep. or old vehicles. Yep. And he cycled yep. one of those from the north of England to London. Hmm. Um, I think it nearly killed him. <laughs> wow. No, no, so what, that, oh, no, go ahead, Graham. I don't so that, that's the level of like celebrities doing things. Hmm. But then the public do things. 
and uh, you'll get people in shopping malls or in the street sitting in a bath of baked beans for 24 hours <laughs> or custard or something like that. Hmm, um, something we should do in Boston, the baked beans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have baked beans in, in the States? Well, they, call, they call it Bean Town for some reason. I don't know why they refer to Boston as Bean Town. I mean, yes, I've lived here for a long time. I tweet the other day and I, I said, where's Bean Town? And she said, oh, Boston. Well, well, I mean, it's so weird. Like, it's not like we grow a lot of beans here, you know. <laughs> and it's certainly not a common food that people eat. I, I don't know. We associate you more with tea. Oh, yeah, because we I threw it over, we caused trouble. I won't guys... mention more. I did once and I think I got away with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so, so the public do things and people will dress up in the most ridiculous outfits and go to work dressed like that or, or school or something. Mm. My daughter's school will often, they pay a pound to go to school dressed up in a ridiculous outfit. Mm. Um, but the other level that it works uh, and works very well is at the corporate level mm. where they get businesses um, will often match fund money run, raised by their employees for comic relief or sport relief um, and when you get the actual Red Nose Day which is um, the 15th of March this year so it's mm -hmm. in about two weeks time um, they will um, have a big show in the evening on, on BBC television and it will go the whole evening all the normal programs are kicked off and, and you just have this long um, marathon program going on hmm. And uh, they'll get people in the audience with these great big checks from charity, uh, from businesses uh, for Red Nose Day. Wow. Uh, and like supermarkets and banks and, and other big businesses mm. uh, sent along a representative. You know, we've raised £100,000. Um, mm. So it works at all different levels very well.